Welcome to this chapter, where we will guide you on how to customize MCO animations. In this comprehensive video, we have taken extra care to make the content as accessible as possible, ensuring that even complex concepts are presented in a way that is easy to understand. Throughout the video, we will cover four distinct chapters, taking you through the entire process from the fundamentals to more advanced techniques. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced user, we've got you covered. Before we begin, we kindly request you to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and enable notifications so that you don't miss any future updates. Your support means a lot to us. Now let's dive into the exciting world of customizing MCO animations. First, let me explain the basic structure of Dynamic Animation Replacer. Although Open Animation Replacer has recently gained popularity, and many players are using it instead of DAR, Understanding the workings of DAR is still important. DAR allows animations to function by placing HKX files inside numbered folders within the Dynamic Animation Replacer underscore Custom Conditi Ones folder. Each numbered folder contains a conditions DITEXT file, which contains annotations specifying when the corresponding animation should be triggered based on the situation of the Skyrim actor. Therefore, it's important to understand what annotations to include in the conditions DXT file. Detailed explanations of the annotations can be found in the description of Dynamic Animation Replacer on the Test Nexus website. However, I'll introduce some commonly used annotations. Firstly, is Actor Base Skyrim ESM 0x000007 is a notable one. When you include this annotation in the conditions DITEXT file, the animations in that folder will only apply to the player. Conversely, adding not before it will make the animation available for all actors except the player. Furthermore, if you add AND after Eyes Actor Base Skyrim, SM 0x000007, and enter Eyes Equipped Right Type 1 on the next line, the animation in that folder will be triggered when the player equips a one-handed sword. Here, Is Equipped Right Type 1 refers to the type of weapon being equipped, where Eyes Equipped Right Type 2 represents a dagger, and Is Equipped Right Type 3 represents a war axe. You can input numbers from minus 1 to 18 to differentiate animations based on the player's weapon type using these annotations. Let me explain how to customize MCO animation using the Key Trace system. The Key Trace system allows you to use different movesets by combining the forward, backward, left, right movement keys with normal or power attack keys. With this system, you can add a total of four movesets, allowing for a greater variety of combat animations. To apply attack animations using the Key Trace system, you need to find the keywords for the forward, backward, left, and right keys, and understand how to input them as condition values in DAR folder. You can find this information by opening SSE Edit. Open SSE Edit and navigate to the Key Trace ESP Magic Effect section. Here you can find the form ID values for forward, backward, left, and right keys, indicated by the last three digits. Let's say we want to add a moveset using the backward key. In this case, we find that the form ID for backward is 803. Next, create a folder with a random number, such as 77777121, inside the custom conditions folder. Place the MCO moveset files inside this numbered folder. Then create and conditions.txt file and enter the values as shown in the example. By doing this, when you press the backward key while holding a one-handed sword in the right hand and a shield in the left hand, the moveset from the 77777121 folder will be activated. Now let's set it up so that when you press the forward movement key and the power attack button together, the MCO moveset is activated. First, use HKX Poser to review the MCO HKX animations and select the moveset you desire. Create a new numeric folder within the Custom Conditions folder and place the MCO HKX animation file you want inside that folder. Also, I have provided a download link for the HKX Poser program in the video description, so please refer to it. For more detailed instructions on how to use HKX Poser, there is a video in the top right corner that provides a more in-depth introduction. Take a look at it when you have some time. Now let's open the conditions.txt notepad file and write the values as shown in the video. The most important thing here is the last three digits, which should be 801 for has magic effect. If you check SSE edit, you will see that the keyword ID value for key traces forward is FE052801. 
Instead of writing the entire FE052801, you can simply write FE052 as 0x000 and only differentiate the last three digits, which are 801, just like in the video. In my case, I wrote AND here and set ICE equipped right type to 1 and IS equipped left type to 11. This means that when wielding a one-handed sword in the right hand and a shield in the left hand and using the keyword 0x000801, it will use the animation in the folder named 77777122. Once you have entered all the values for conditions, save the file. Now try running Skyrim. If the HKX file from the folder 77777122 is displayed when you press the forward movement key and the attack key together, then you have succeeded. Congratulations! This time, I'm going to explain how to customize MCO moveset combos. Now pay close attention and make sure to look carefully because it's going to get a little more challenging. I relied heavily on Distar's video titled, How to Modify Your Skyrim Animations with Hkano for this part. So if you have time, I recommend watching that video as well. It will be very helpful to you. First, in order to customize MCO moveset combos, you need to be able to view the annotations of the HKX files in the MCO moveset. To do this, you'll need a program called HKANO64. Don't worry, it's available for download on Test Nexus, so go there, download the compressed files, and extract them to any location. Next, open a blank notepad file and save it as dump.bat inside the HKANO folder. Then create another notepad file and save it as update.bat inside the hkano folder as well. Now you should have two additional files in the hkano folder, similar to the bolt-shaped dump and update files I have. Afterward, open the dump.bat file with notepad and enter the values shown in the video. Then, save the file. Then, open the update.bat file with notepad and enter the annotation values as shown in the video. Then, save the file. The annotation sentences can be complex, so I'll write them down in the description for reference. After that, you need to copy the MCO movesets that you want to customize and paste them into the HKANO folder. Then click on one of the moveset files and drag it into the dump folder using your mouse. This will create a memo file called ANO. Open that file and you will be able to customize your movesets. I'm going to try customizing the Dragon's Dogma Fighter moveset for Sword and Shield. This moveset only has a total of three combos for regular attacks. I will customize it by adding an additional combo to make it a four combo sequence. These are the annotations for the third normal attack of Dragon's Dogma Fighter, named MCO Attack 3. If you scroll down, you'll see that MCO Next Attack is set to 1, and Next Power Attack is set to 5. This means that after MCO Attack 3, the next normal attack will use MCO Attack 1, and the Power Attack will use MCO Power Attack 5. So if you want to add an additional combo here, let's change MCO Attack 1 to MCO Attack 4. Once you've made the change, save the file and then while still having MCO Attack 3 selected, take it to the update.bat with the mouse cursor. This way, the MCO Attack 3 file will be updated. Next, select and bring the animation you want to use for the fourth combo. I have chosen an attack file from Mofu's Olivior moveset. Rename this file to MCO Attack 4 and click on it to bring it to dump.bat. This will update the Anno text file. When you open the Anno file, you will see the annotations for MCO Attack 4 this time. The next attack value in this moveset is set to 2, so change it to 1, save the file, and then click on MCO Attack 4 while holding the mouse cursor. This time bring it to update bat. This way, the MCO Attack 4 file will be updated. Now let's launch Skyrim and see the results. When I tried using the selected moveset, in my case, the Mofu's Olivior moveset was correctly displayed as the fourth combo after the third combo. This confirms that it has been applied successfully. By modifying the annotations of MCO movesets in this manner, you can customize animation combos. Through such customization, your combat style can be greatly expanded, allowing you to apply motion combos in different ways. I encourage you to customize your own movesets by modifying the numerous MCO movesets released so far, thereby creating your unique moveset.
Now finally, I will explain how to add magic effects to movesets using Payload Interpreter. To use Payload Interpreter, you need to have the Payload Interpreter SKSE plugin installed, as it goes without saying. After that, navigate to the SKSE, Payload Interpreter, and Config folders, and create an INI file. You can choose any name for the INI file, but make sure to include comments inside the INI file. The comments should start with the dollar symbol, followed by the name you assign to those comments. I will simply use Astral Crash as an example. We will obtain the magic effect from the Astral Magic mod. Open SSE Edit and navigate to the Astral and Spell categories. There you can find various spells and their code IDs. As mentioned before, the code IDs are composed of 0x0000 at the beginning. You only need to modify the last three digits and add them after 0x0000. In my case, I will use Astral Crash, which has a code ID ending with 83F, so I will write 83F after 0x0000. Next, you need to specify the name of the plugin that the mod is applied to. After that, there are values composed of 1S and 0S. I don't fully understand all these values myself, but I know that the last value is related to either stamina or magicka. For example, if the last value is written as 30, it means that the command will consume 30 magicka when used. Put the moveset you want to add magic to in the hkano folder and place it in the dump.bat file to create an anno annotation. Then open the anno file and add annotations similar to the video. The first value, 0.266666, represents the time when the magic is triggered. It is usually best to set this time to match the hit frame time. In my move set, the hit frame is 0.26666, so I set the magic activation time accordingly. After setting the time, add a space and type pi. Then write the annotation name you created earlier, dollar astral crash. This way, the animation will play, and after 0.26666 seconds, the Astral Crash magic will be triggered. Once you have added the annotations, save the file, then click on the moveset HKX file and take it to the update.bat file. This will update the MCO file. Next, place the updated file in the animation folder and run Skyrim to test the moveset. You will see that each time you use the moveset, Magicka is consumed and the Astral Crash magic is displayed. By adding magic to each combo in this way, you can give them impressive effects. However, keep in mind that while this enhances the visual appeal of combat, adding too powerful magic may decrease the game's difficulty. Please consider this and add payload annotations to animations accordingly. Thank you for joining us on this journey of customizing MCO animations, and thanks to Smooth and Distar for bringing this knowledge to me in the first place. We hope this video has provided you with valuable insights and practical knowledge. If you have any questions, suggestions, or specific topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, please leave a comment below. To stay up to date with our latest content and receive notifications whenever we release new tutorials, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell. We appreciate your support and the time you've dedicated to watching this video. Remember, by customizing MCO animations, you have the power to create unique and captivating experiences, so go ahead, explore the possibilities, and let your creativity shine. Until next time, happy customizing.